All right, so here is my meal prep video. I am starting by boiling some water and I'm going to hard boil some eggs first. Um, those are great for grab and go during the week or if I have to go to work early in the morning, I don't get a chance to come home, um, I grab those for my breakfast with some fruit. I'm also going to make some rice. Um, I use organic chicken broth um, to make my rice and um, I also use brown basmati rice and I mix that with um, the farro. So I do kind of half and half um, when I make my rice, but I always look for, which I can show you on here, um, it's not coming in clear. All right, I don't know why my video is doing that. But anyways, I look for the fiber content um, in my rice. If you are looking to bulk, which not many of my clientele is um, on that path, but you want um, white rice. But for um, leaning out purposes, you want to pick brown rice. Um, farro also, I like to add with it because it has four grams of fiber per serving. Um, so that adds to the brown rice and it kind of increases the fiber a little bit. Um, I also have salmon that I'm going to make. Um, I use a blackened spice for that. Um, I'm marinating chicken in olive oil and um, I have a Mrs. Dash like lemon pepper seasoning. So um, I also added a little bit of lemon um, to help that marinade. So about 30 minutes on that. Over here, um, I chopped up some broccoli. Um, so I'm gonna roast that. Um, I just tossed that in coconut oil. And then I'm going to put this garlic and herb seasoning on that. Um, and then in my crock pot, I am um, cooking sweet potatoes. So uh, I think that is it for now. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit um, in the middle of that process too. For the crockpot potatoes, um, I didn't mention that I cooked them on low for about six hours. Now, as an alternative to the rice in any of um, these recipes, you can also use cauliflower rice, which they have already cut up right now. Um, they also have it in the freezer section too, which is a great alternative um, if you're really trying to cut down and lose. So you can replace the rice with any of um, your prep dishes going to throw some beets in the oven to roast them. I just tossed toss them in coconut oil and sprinkled a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. All right, so for the salmon, um, I just put a little bit of coconut oil in the pan. And then I'm going to take my blackened seasoning. Which is brand new. All right, so first, before I put it in the pan, um, I just sprinkle a little bit of it on top. And then, go right in the pan. And you wanna cook it about three minutes on one side and probably about five minutes on the other side, depending on how um, well cooked you like it. Okay. So for the salmon, I just put um, a, in mine a half a cup of rice, um, about four ounces of the salmon and broccoli. And then um, for Kevin's, just a little bigger portion of um, the salmon and one cup of the rice and broccoli. And these containers are freezeable, which is great because they get kind of stale towards the end of the week. So um, you can just freeze whatever you're going to eat um, towards the end of the week. So for the chicken, like I said, I had marinated it for about 30 minutes. Um, and then I put it in a dish with lemon slices and just a little bit of rosemary. So I'm going to cook that at 375 for about... 30 minutes or so, 20 or 30 minutes. Um, these are cutlets, so they're thin sliced, so they won't take as long. So I'm gonna put that in the oven um, with my broccoli as well. So I'm gonna put those in the oven, and then I'm going to take my broccoli and place that in there as well. 
So that should only take about 15 minutes. I kind of don't really time anything. I just look <laughs> when it's done. Um, but I got my rice going in there, uh, my salmon, and my eggs. All right, so here are my lemon pepper chicken. And um, I put actually collard greens underneath um, the beets. And I paired that with the sweet potato. So for myself, I do a half a sweet potato. And then I take some cinnamon and um, just sprinkle it on the sweet potato. I like a little bit of that on there for flavor. Um, and then for Kevin's, I just put a whole sweet potato just to make it a little bigger. His chicken portion is a little bigger as well. Um, so that's how I pair those. For my snacks, I actually bought these um, at Sam's Club. And it will last me a long time, but it's three pounds of almonds and then I also got walnuts um, I usually pair these with um, dates I'll take a few of those and about a handful I don't really measure but it's about a quarter cup of nuts um, with some dates or I found these at Sam's Club too which are really cool um, it's dried cranberries but they're sweetened with apple juice so usually um, dried cranberries have sugar added to them but um, these didn't, so I grabbed those and they come in little packets. So, oops. I will bring those with me um, with the nuts as well and have those as snacks, so those are really cool. Um, and then another snack that I have, I'll use the Oikos Triple Zero. I like it because it's made with um, stevia instead of um, sugar, so. It only has six grams of sugar and also has six, six grams of fiber and 15 grams of protein. So I'll pair that with some fruit. So I'll add some um, berries, blueberries, strawberries, whatever to it. Another one of my snacks, um, I'll typically have this after a workout, but um, I have my protein powder. Um, I like the vegan one and I use the just about a tablespoon of chia seed inside, and then um, about a quarter cup of berries. And I'll make that ahead of time when I bring it to work, and I'll put it in my um, my blender bottle, but I won't blend it yet until I get to work, and then I add the water and all that. All right, guys, so that was my meal prep for the week for um, basically my lunches. Um, and I froze Thursday and Fridays, and then um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, um, I kept in the refrigerator um, that way Thursdays and Fridays does isn't stale by the time we eat them and um, What else for my breakfast? Um, usually if I'm home I make um, two eggs with um, veggies and I have a slice of organic toast which I will show you here. Um, These are Alpine Valley. I'm going to flip it around so you can see it so it's not backwards. Never mind, I can't do that. <laughs> anyway, um, it's um, Alpine Valley. Like I said, I got them at Sam's Club and you can get two um, in a pack and they're freezable so um, you can freeze one. But I only have one slice um, with my breakfast. But if I'm on the go and I hit the gym and I'm there all morning, I don't have time to make it. So I bring two hard boiled eggs and fruit with me. Um, and that's what I have for my breakfast instead. So I always have eggs. Um, for, let's say, make sure um, when you are getting ready for your week and preparing yourself, you wanna make sure your house is prepared. So um, make sure you don't have anything in your house that is gonna tempt you out of your um, meal plan. <laughs> like ice cream, snacks, anything like that, that is gonna make you fall off. Um, because having your house prepared is like the number one thing in staying on track. Um, and making sure you have the right foods in your house. So, um, with that said, what else do I have? Um, I don't know if you guys have any questions about the meal prep, um, definitely let me know. Um, but that's basically what I do. It takes me about an hour and a half. Um, I do it on Sundays. 
so it's um, ready for the week and it just makes my week so much easier um, and I know I'm going to be eating healthy because it's really hard when you go um, if you get to work and you don't have your lunch and you have to figure out what you're eating and typically you're not going to eat at the same time um, you know if you're not ready but if you're ready you can stay on a schedule with it and have better results that way so um, yeah, that's about it. Um, but I'm going to make another one of these videos, a few more, throughout the next month because you're going to be um, meal prepping um, for the next challenge. So I think that will um, help you guys stay on track as well um, throughout the month um, so we can all keep each other motivated. So I will um, see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the video.